Dale Winton died aged 62 at his home last month. Today, celebrities and loved ones gathered to celebrate his life at a humanist funeral service in London. Those in attendance included David, Anthea, Christopher Biggins and Loose Women star Gloria Hunnaford. David and Martine McCutcheon will read at the ceremony, the order of service revealed, while Claire Sweeney and Blue will perform. Clara arrived with Biggins, who looked somber as the posed for photographers outside the church. She will be singing Scylla Black Selfie during the service. Dale was remembered by a host of stars including Matthew Wright, Piers Morgan, Vanessa Fletz and her husband Ben Offo Edu and Tony Blackburn. David's comedy partner Matt Lucas also stepped out to pay his respects, along with Martine and the members of Blue, who were seen arriving ahead of their parts in the humanist ceremony. Impressionist and comedian John Coleshaw is also set to give a tribute to Dale. Gloria previously opened up on her shock following her friend's death, telling the Mirror, I was of course terribly shocked to hear of Dale's death, I'm actually going to the funeral because I'll be very glad to say a little goodbye to him as well as it was very sudden, meanwhile, I'm a celebrity favorite begins. Said, it's terrible. He was 62, he should never have died. It's awful. Yesterday, Humanists UK announced the service, telling their 80,000 Twitter followers, tomorrow, we're very proud to be giving the humanist funeral of a national treasure, Dale Winton. He was loved so much and by so many, and tomorrow his loved ones will be celebrating the life he led and the positive impact he had on their lives. Dale Winton's cause of death is not yet known, but Scotland Yard has confirmed they are not treating his passing as suspicious. Last month, his longtime agent Jan Kennedy said he had died peacefully in his sleep. It is with great sadness that we can confirm the passing of Dale Winton who died at home earlier today, she said. While we know many will share this terrible loss, we ask that you respect the family's privacy at this time of grief. Dale was a showbiz legend famous for the likes of Supermarket Sweep and In It to Win It. Two years before his death, the BBC National Lottery star took a break from the limelight after undergoing four surgeries for a shoulder and knee problem. I've kept a low profile because I had about four surgeries, he told what's on TV back in January. So, I took a break to get myself sorted, it meant I couldn't exercise, so I've been dieting like crazy, he returned to TV with a new travel show on Channel 5, Dale Winton's Florida Fly Drive. In 2016, Dale also opened up about his battle with depression, speaking to the Loose Women panel about how he had struggled with his mental health. Listen. There are worse things in the world, but I had depression and I didn't realize, he said, I always thought, get over yourself, but my mum died of it. It exists and anybody out there who has had it knows it exists. I didn't want to put one foot in front of the other but for a couple of good friends. The game show host continued, I had a bad breakup and then I had health issues. I would not leave the house five years, I've totally got through it, he added. It was triggered by a very bad breakup, according to The Sun, Dale took a big hit when his toy boy Bo dumped to him two years ago. The showbiz legend went into a tailspin when his boyfriend, 20 years his junior, ditched him after using him to meet Sir Elton John. Dale's health deteriorated rapidly following the split as he struggled to cope. The publication reported, since his death, Dale's friend Gary Bushell claimed the supermarket sweep star was abused by three ex-boyfriends. He would pour his heart out about his boyfriends, he told the Daily Star. In later years he fought depression. He was self-medicating. The last time we visited his U.S. home he had enough pills to stock a pharmacy.